This is Mike Callahan, Dr. FileFinder, and welcome to your Butter Session Time tutorial on how to make your own ringtones on your Android phone with RingDroid. RingDroid is a free application. You can find it in the Android market. So install it on your phone. We'll tap it, open it up. Now you see when it's opened up, it's first of all showing all ringtones. So what we'll do is we'll tap on the menu key and Tap on this plus where it says show all audio. So we'll do that. So now if I scroll through, you can see that there are songs that are not ringtones. So the ringtones are in kind of a teal color and the non-ringtones are not. So we'll move through here. All right. And I found one of my granddaughter's favorites, Betty Lou's Getting Out Tonight. So we're going to tap on that. And it will load. If you look down here at the bottom, you'll see that it's showing the start is at 000 and the end is 15. So it's starting at the very beginning of the song and it's going for 15 seconds. You see here, it gives you some information about the song. Now you can tap on this little tab in the center. It's yellow now. And you can drag it over. So now, if we look down at the bottom, we'll see the ringtone is now 26.96 seconds long. So we've made it longer. If you want, you can go back to the beginning, move it back. You can also start your ringtone somewhere in the center of the song. So this way you have control over what part of the song is the ringtone. Now once you're satisfied with that, Simply tap on the menu. And then, for example, say you decided you wanted to change your mind and start over. Well, you could just tap reset. But if you're happy with it, just tap save. And then it brings up this screen. Save as type ringtone. Now, if you touch on that arrow, the drop down menu shows you you can save it as music, alarm, notification, or ringtone. So we're going for a ringtone. We'll select that. The name, Betty Lou's Getting Out Tonight Ringtone. If you want, you can change that. But I'm happy with that. So we'll just tap Save. And then it also asks us, Saved. Do we want to make it our default ringtone, assign it to a contact, or close? This is really handy because if you were making that song for a specific person, you could assign it to them right here from RingDroid. But we're going to close. And that takes us back to the main screen. So this is how you can make your own ringtones quickly and easily on your Android phone with RingDroid. And that's all there is to it. 